In this video, I'm going to discuss Samba. Uh, Samba is a file sharing tool. Um, it sits in between Linux and Windows with all the security of Linux and the visual aspects of Windows. Okay, um, let's make a website first. <coughs> um, let's assume the um, website name is let's say codeworks.in or a smaller name let's say abc.com it's better I will, to, I will type less so let's begin user add abc give a password abc um, give any password you want I'm just going to give a then change directory to home this is where all the uh, folders are created as you can see abc is here then change the mod to 770 of the folder abc then change group to apache of the folder abc um oops uh, no no uh, not two here is just for explanation okay now let's move to apache i'm sorry abc then um, let's write something here echo abc <coughs> dot in main site this is anything you want anything you want to write you can write here this is index.html page index.html and let's do something um, service named start this is this will start a dns server STRT okay this is done now uh, let's start the HTTP server okay this is done okay let's check my DNS actually turn on the net connection <coughs> let's check my DNS um, uh, let's check okay <coughs> new properties now uh, take some time to load uh 192.168.200 around um, this is 200 also okay this, i think this, it's okay it's okay everything is set now let's okay this, this part is done um nothing more here okay then now let's go to our Webmin, uh, go to server, bind DNS server. This is the regular work. Nothing great here. First, you have to create a website, master soon, then abc dot in, then DNS dot abc dot in, then uh, any email ID you want doesn't matter I click create now in the address record um, give your address 192.0 yeah, whatever 200 the site's address and the DNS um, okay, 192. Okay. then click create you run to zone list and scroll down and do apply changes Okay, this is done. Now let's go to Webmin Index. Click on Apache Server and uh, give a specific address. And this is the IP address. This is the same IP address of the web server and it's 0.200. Click on Document Root. And in the Document Root, uh, I just serve it like this. Yeah, whatever, like this. Okay then server name abc.in okay this is done we can create now then to apply changes let's see if abc.in is live or not <coughs> it's still uh, rotating so let's wait a bit okay i think i have to try now let's see okay
yeah uh, it takes some time actually but yeah this is the site as you can see it's abc.in main site is written here okay now the samba part starts in the servers tab scroll down and select this samba windows file sharing okay then uh, again scroll down and select this convert unix user to samba user then uh, um, scroll down and in the use this password give the password of your user my password was a if you remember after giving this now uh, leave everything else default and to convert users user being converted don't need to save this as you can see um, mango uh, is my user is getting converted and abc is being added okay uh, and then do this return to share list okay scroll, scroll down this at least edits by users and password it's not very important but uh, i prefer to do it <coughs> in the password section click on new password and i'm going to give a thing uh, fancy the same thing actually then you can do share list and scroll down and do start samba server okay so this is um, all that you need to do with the samba thing and now the fancy stuff okay um go to your start menu and select run um in windows 8 um this appears like this okay this is your run thing uh, run prompt whatever and do something like this backslash backslash then your linux ip address my linux ip address 192.168.80.200 so whatever done and backslash backslash your linux ip address and click ok ok this thing pops up the username uh, type your username my username was abc if you remember the password was a now keep one thing in mind do not forget your password i mean do not type a different password otherwise you will not be able to log in you have to restart your system to log in so with that being said let's select okay okay as you can see here this thing came the shared file okay i can't increase the font i guess this is your user abc then um, you can double click open it and this is the index.html page now just right click and do something uh, open with sublime text let's say okay i'll do my earlier project okay here is the main site now you can modify it here like this give each one text if you want that is then okay okay i'm gonna take a okay. Uh, okay i'm trying to tell you what mistake i have made as you can see if i control press s it says access is denied the reason being the folder permit now uh, the index.html file permission i have means um uh, index.html pages the file permission is the user and the group the user had to set to the user that is abc uh let me show you actually this one to better by show you okay let's do pwd okay now do ll as you can see the user is root and root but in this folder my the user is abc so abc can mod cannot modify in this or html so what had to be done was to change the permission to abc like chown change ownership of to abc of the folder no sorry of the file index.html 
um, I don't think this effect is the place now so how to get around it simple just open it again and just completely delete it up to delete it and then save it okay it's saved as you can see it came again now let's see if your changes uh, if it took place <laughs> refresh the site as you can see changes took place now let's do something more let's um, do body here I'm going to add a background color so that you are convinced that changes are being taken place shift home control X and like this then PG color pink let's say nice pink color let's refresh yeah as you can see it changed we're not touching Linux now but it's changing from Windows this is Samba uh, um, usability of Windows and uh, security of Linux so this is it uh, the Samba thing you can close it now doesn't matter close this one as well now I'm going to show you something else click on this folder and do um, right click um, a dialog box pops up and as you can see it says map network drive click on it um, the normal drives are named from A to Z and the network drives are named from Z to A um, then click finish so um, this is done now you can close it close it and let's go to my computer and show you something as you can see here it, it came here then the network drive the samba thing open up and see and this is just html is here it is very very useful well um, now actually you can modify things here you can add files here delete files here and the changes would take place in windows as well very useful actually now to remove this right click on this and select this disconnect then it would go away now okay it's very useful i really like it and this is all for this video um do it like and do share with your friends thank you